Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. We're in the tour van with a couple of new iron models for 2021. It's the TaylorMade Sim 2 Max and the TaylorMade Sim 2 Max OS. Uh, so two kind of in the game improvement category for 2021. Um, and obviously building off of the Sim Max and Sim Max OS from 2020. So Thomas, you've got both in your hands right now of the Sim 2 Max irons. What do they look like? Um, and what do you think is kind of packed in there in terms of technology and the performance? What's packed in there, I think distance and forgiveness is definitely what's packed into these, yeah. these, these clubs here. So looking down at them, for sure, uh, clubs that I probably wouldn't particularly fit into my, myself. No, they're very strong lofted. So mm -hmm. 26 and a half degrees of loft on the Sim 2 Max OS, 28 and a half degrees with the Sim 2 Max iron. So a little bit stronger. So for those players that maybe don't deliver that club perfectly at impact, the dynamic mm -hmm. loft need, need a little help with regards to loft to generate, get them the optimal window mm -hmm. for their seven iron numbers off across, across the board with the iron numbers in general. You mentioned kind of technology kind of so as i'm noticing on the back here mm -hmm. this kind of cat back design on the yeah. sim max os here interesting intriguing yeah. it's, you know you can't see it at you definitely can't see it at address right but kind of know it know it's there and a lot of models a lot of manufacturers the last kind of couple of years have started kind of pushing things in the back of the club yeah. as a way to really help the player out mm -hmm. so that's what i'll kind of say is technology is here to help the player not maybe not supposed to look great on the shelf Maybe it is. Maybe people yeah. like to see that techie stuff on, on the club there too. Right. But what I will say at address, still look nice and clean. Club's got some offset, got a little thicker top line than I'm kind of what I'm used to, but that's going to help the for forgiveness. Right, yeah. And so like you mentioned about the sort of appearance, I mean, when you see a, 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 just a traditional muscle back blade right there on the shelf, that is a club that's built for the players that don't really need the performance built into the iron because they can deliver it themselves, right? So these are for players that, you know, maybe need extra performance in the clubs because sometimes they don't always deliver it with their own swing. So that's what, there's maybe extra stuff going on. That I think that cat back design you mentioned really stabilizes the club, gives the forgiveness, um, kind of connects everything together. So that's all there for a reason. And it's there to help with performance, help with forgiveness, help with launch as well. So. Um, I think what we can do here is just test them out. We can see what the performance tells us, um, get your feedback as well as somebody who, you know, you fit golfers, hundreds of golfers every year, work with players. So you kind of know, you know, what types of clubs are going to work for players that maybe need that extra help. So um, why don't we get started with, uh, with TrackMan here? We can see what we learn. Yeah, sounds like a good plan. Before I start hitting some shots, I do ask, make sure you do subscribe to our channel. I want to really appreciate you guys subscribing and commenting and liking our videos. Let's hit some shots. Now, which one are you going to start with here? Let's start with the, the Sim 2 Max. Okay. Yeah. Now, this one is 28 and a half degrees, so that's still considerably stronger than the 7 iron that you're going to play. Yeah. What I, what I might do today is I might try something kind of unique. I might hit a couple of shots with some slower swing speeds and then a couple would finish with my normal swing speed. Sure. Kind of show kind of the difference because we know a lot of players that will fit into these models probably yeah. won't be swinging at 88 miles an hour with, right. their, with, yep. their, with their seven iron. So I'll try and slow it down. I'll try and have the same swing speed with both these two and kind of compare the okay. differences. Yeah, I, I like that. And then at the end for fun, it's always fun to try and hit an iron. We'll see bar, how far so you can hit a 26 and a half degree seven iron. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's my ego kind of getting in the way. <laughs> So that's 75 club speed. That's, you know, probably give or take about maybe 15 uh, lower than I would say your, your stock suite. Now, where does close. that fit into maybe, maybe you have a better uh, grasp on sort of the I don't know, average swing speed. There isn't really an average per se, but like someone that would fit into these clubs per se, 75, is that about right? Let's say your general amateur golfer on average, their club speed's probably between 75 and 80 miles an okay. hour with a seven iron. Okay. So I'll try and keep it within that kind of yeah. that kind of window here. It's going to be hard for me to try and swing any slower than 75, but I'll try and keep between 75 and 80 as, we're, mm -hmm. as I'm yeah. doing these. I mean, and, and with, you know, with good reason, I think we're getting enough of people looking for, hey, can we get someone, you know, I want to see some testing on these game improvement clubs with somebody yep. that would fit into them. And obviously you're, one of the better professional players in Minnesota, but 
Um, with that said, I, the fact that you do hit the center of the club face so often does give us a great um, measuring stick for the performance of the clubs, but maybe you can do that with a slower swing thing now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it tests, I mean, you mentioned I hit the middle of the club face, so I, the, and my swing's pretty consistent. So what that does is it tests the comparison between clubs, Yeah. but it doesn't really kind of test the forgiveness level. Yeah. And we know that game of proven irons, they, they fit into players that need that forgiveness. Mm -hmm. So yeah. slowing that swing speed down is putting me out of my element right, al right away. Yeah. So it's kind of, it might test that, that forgiveness yeah. just a little bit. Hey, yeah. we're trying something new. Yep. All right, that was the second shot, and so you got it. You've gotten a couple under your belt now. Um, what is that? What can you describe the feel after two shots? Okay, I mean, off the club face, it feels like the ball was jumping off the club face. So it definitely feels like it's got some forgiveness, but also got some juice behind mm -hmm. it too. And that's you know the fact loft. I, I know the, the loft on this is twenty eight and a half degrees, yeah. where my seven iron normally is like thirty four degrees. I'm only swinging at 75 miles an hour. We'll notice when I only swing at 75 miles an hour, notice what happens to my height and my landing angle. Mm -hmm. It's not kind of really optimal with the way that I deliver the club. My dynamic yeah. loft is still very, very low. So mm -hmm. I would need yeah. more speed for sure right. to get more in the optimal window for with this particular club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now they're, they're cha you're, the loft, the strong loft really improves distance, right? But like it does, it, it, yeah. does, it can have that negative effect of um, you know going into the green if you have like a front pin per se you really can't land on the green and keep it around the pin so that's kind of the downfall of that but I just I was kind of getting your perspective on the on the feel and stuff because um, I know it probably feels a little different than what you're used to but uh, the sound I mean it sounds powerful uh, it powerful, sounds like yeah. it's a very powerful iron that's gonna you know really explosive off the face yeah it's gonna be forgiving but also very very powerful on those ones you hit really well too mm -hmm. so. I can't believe I hit that thing 178 yards total. I feel like I'm only hitting it 100 yards. So that, mm -hmm. that one's a good example right there. I was about to say I can't believe I hit that thing 178 yards, the shot before. Yeah. Well, that shot there, I got that face just a little bit more kind of closed on that one. It flew a little bit lower. But total distance went 178 yards. Yeah. So it's, it's a different level of golf. Mm -hmm. Different level of golf when I'm playing with my clubs, I'm really focusing on that, on that carry distance. A lot of players that fit into these models, they're really focusing kind of on that, on that total distance. They're not mm -hmm. so much worrying about trying to land it on the back of the green and spinning it back or right. carrying a bunker. They just want to make sure they know that the club's going to go the same distance mm -hmm. every single time. Which this which one what this seems one to be doing. Yeah. And I think, I mean, part of the reason it's going farther is you know, you're, you're spinning at 4,000 RPM uh, on average so far, which is a very low number for a seven iron, but that's you know, yeah. with the stronger loss and the way you deliver the club in particular, yeah. that's going to be the result. Yeah, with my shallow attack angle, with my dynamic loft still compressing the ball, it's just going to be spinning mm -hmm. low. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Same thing. A little, little, little yep. pull that still went basically 178, 179. You jumped all over that one. 76.6. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. All right. Yeah, I mean, total distance consistency really impressed me. Yeah, I mean, the, gosh, we should bring that map up here and do carry distance because uh, total, I mean, carry and total are both very consistent in terms of the distance, right? I mean, yep. here's your carry and here's your total. <laughs> if you want to hit the ball from 175 to 180 and you swing 75 miles an hour, you need a 7 iron that's consistent. Hey, TaylorMade Sim 2 Max seems like a, de a, a decent option for you yeah. based on this, you know, your swing in particular here. But um, now, you know, I want to get into the Sim 2 Max OS because okay. there's going to be the, the loft difference. There's going to be, uh, there's also, a, it's a much larger club head. So I want to see how that performs because I think the club head's designed maybe for more launch and like a little bit more weight is dropped low into the sole area. It's like that should launch a little higher, but then there's the loft as well that's actually uh, stronger. So we'll see how that balances out. Okay. Here. Well, I'll try and swing same speed mm -hmm. next five swings and yeah. see what happens. Yeah. 
Well, I guess I jumped on that one. My like club speed was 76.7. Yeah. But check out that, uh, that distance gain right there. The so, spin. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you drop the spin on that one. This is just this is the first shot, you know, with the Sim 2 Max OS. But spin dropped, and that thing went 190 yards. And if I remember correctly, the five shots you hit with the other club, none of them went over 180. Yeah, they're right around you 170. You just gained 10 yards yeah. Yeah. with the Sim 2 Max OS. That is launched for a... I'm ex I mean, I'm excited to watch you hit a full swing with the <laughs> 700 see how far it goes. Well, I always... <laughs> I always say every degree lops about three to four yards. I did swing one mile an hour faster with my club speed on that one, but yeah. it, it's pretty close because that was the loft doing that. Loft was causing yeah. that mm -hmm. thing to spin less and go a little further. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, one thing I've noticed is it's very easy for you anyway to hit a straight ball um, with these irons. Now, I mean, I understand that you're your uh, uh, skill level in terms of you know, bringing the club at impact square and all that is much different than most players, especially those that will fit into the, these irons. But um, I'm, not seeing it, I'm, I'm not seeing much curve when you hit this ball. And you like to hit that little draw, and, that's, and it seems like it's barely a draw, if anything, with these irons. Yeah, barely. It's, it's not like this going to be the most workable club. It's just it's going to design to fly straight. So yep. those players that have a little challenge with side spin on the ball, model for sure mm -hmm. is going to help to straighten it right. out. Because it's going to decrease spin in general. Yep. Um, just all, all types of, uh, or all spin there is going to be going down. And part of that does mean that, you know, the, the likelihood that your ball flies offline due to side spin also goes down. So that's part of, you know, an advantage of these irons as well. Yep, I agree. Yeah, we've got five shots with the Sim Max, Sim 2 Max OS and the Sim 2 Max. We can just look at these briefly here. Um, so I want to, you know, credit to you for, you know, not swinging your normal speed and still kind of keeping this very close in terms of the club speed averages. 75.1, 74.6. Um, I think now going to the OS, the spin difference clearly, right? That's kind of what we expect. Yep. Lower spin with the stronger loft. Um, and, you know, I did mention that, you know, there's more kind of weight dropped low into that club head with the oversized head. It looks like kind of loft is really doing its job there as well. Um, but then, you know, going into the carry distance, total distance, pretty similar. Uh, it's just that dispersions are a little different there. Yeah, I had a, I had a couple of miss with the Simmax OS. You can see those two kind of yellow dots down the kind of mm -hmm. the, the bottom right there. So those were a little bit slower speed, a little bit more less, sorry, less ball speed on those two. Yeah. Those three that I hit really well, they definitely went further. So for sure, the, the ones you hit really solid with the, mm -hmm. some Max OS, the loft is going to do its job. It's going to go a lot further. Uh, if we scroll back and take a look at the ball speed, we'll notice the ball speed exactly the same. We're kind of comparing it, but you will notice the Sim 2 Max OS, I didn't swing as fast. So because mm -hmm. I didn't swing as fast, but the ball speed was the same, it's showing that the Sim 2 Max OS will go further if you're gonna match up the exact yeah. same yep. swing across the board. Now, I didn't quite do it. I tried my best to oh, yeah, well. swing 75 miles an hour with both of them. But you can kind of see that some differences across the board. A little lower launch with the club that's got a little less loft on it. Mm -hmm. A little less spin rolled out further, so a little less in height and the landing angle was kind of down there as well too. So. Simmax OS is a great option for that player that maybe does spin the ball a lot. It's ball kind of very, very high and goes nowhere. So it's yeah. going to help get, get them down into that better ball, fl ball flight, which is more optimal for a seven iron, yeah. which is going to give them better numbers overall. Right, because there's a lot of players out there that do struggle with, with that, where they maybe the club face is open a little bit, or maybe they um, come at it with sort of a extremely you know, shallow attack angle, and that club face is kind of propped uh, towards the sky a little bit, and that thing just launched high in the air and especially into the wind that's where problems can happen and so this is a club that's going to fight that quite a bit really battle through wind for you with your ball knuckle uh, the kind of the, more of a knuckleball effect the spin's going to drop the ball's going to go on a straighter line and towards the intended target a little more effectively um, so but I you know these clubs are they're built for forgiveness right I mean there's you know that there's the the speed pocket on those irons you've got you know a very forgiving uh, club shape, club design as well. So 
Uh, of course, we talked about the, the cat bag as well. So there's, there's all that in these irons, and I think the, really the big difference between the two models in terms of construction is just the larger shape, the oversized OS shape of the Sim 2 Max OS, but really they're the same uh, DNA, so to speak. Yeah. Well, I mentioned I want to hit some normal, little faster swings with, with this, this 7 iron, just to kind of see how yeah. far it kind of actually really does go with 26 and a half degrees of loft. Let's do that to finish off and just kind of show the, All right. the differences and maybe why someone with my swing speed probably should not play yeah. the Sim Max OS. Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, so that is a full swing for Thomas with uh, the Sim 2 Max OS, carried at 207, 215. Now, is that about what you'd expect with a 26 and a half degree, like seven iron there? Yeah, I would, I would expect it for sure to be in the, in the 200 mark, just a little over 200, especially with club speed being about 93 miles mm -hmm. an hour on, on that one. That was a little faster than what I, Normally swing. I'm normally about 88 to 90 with my with okay. my seven iron, um, but I got a little excited. I wanted to try and hit this 26 and a half degree seven iron mm -hmm. a little, little bit further. Um, but we'll know just kind of what happens when I swing faster. You can see the height went up one. Yeah. So originally my height was around about 60 to 65 feet yeah. in the air with the other two. Well, it basically doubled. Yeah. So the height doubled, landing angle went up. Dynamic loft actually stayed the same because I still presented that club the kind of the same mm -hmm. head impact there as well. Um, so you can kind of see how the landing angle is going to give me better stopping power. So the difference between the carry and total distance yeah. is like eight yards versus right. when versus it was around 20. about 20 there before. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting that you, with the dynamic loft piece, you're, de you're delivering the club the same in terms of uh, how it's presented to the ball. It's just coming at it way yeah. faster. Uh, that's the difference, but like... Well, it's interesting, the dynamic loft piece there, now that you brought that up, Sim 2 Max has got two degrees more loft on it. Mm -hmm. Sim oh, 2 true. Max OS has got two degrees less loft. There you go. 20 to 18. 20 that's a good to point, yeah. So, right there, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so you're, you're swinging the exact same, is, yeah. is the, the story here. It's just the dynamic loft is different because of the stated loft on the club. Yep, and then as I'm hitting now, this got a little bit more speed, which is gonna cause the ball to... Yeah go higher, go a little further, spend wow. a little bit more there as well. So, so I wanted to get another quick feeler on, well, feeler on the feel from you um, with the echo damping system. Mm -hmm. Does it, how does it feel compared to like other game improvement irons out there? Because it some feel, can get kind of harsh, so I wanted to see how that, how that system in there works. It just feels solid off the face, honestly. It, does, it doesn't seem like it's loud and really, really absurd, yeah. I guess, but mm -hmm. it just feels like it's dampened just a little bit, but it definitely feels solid off the face. Mm -hmm. I know that the ball is jumping off the club face. It feels right. like it's, it's just going, yeah. which is kind of what a lot right, of players clearly. in this category want to feel. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah. that inverted cone technology as well in there is really, it's really bouncing that ball forward off the face. So if, yeah. got, if the club is swung uh, at it and you hit it somewhere near the center of the face, it's going to launch yeah. for you. So and the I guess, I, again, club is built for forgiveness. It's got uh, you know the weighting on the perimeter to stabilize the face when it's um, or stabilize the club when it's not hit right in the center. So yeah. these irons are built for you know the game improvement category, built for players that maybe need extra help. And I think they're. I mean, I would say the Max o, the Sim 2 Max OS might be a little bit more in the super game improvement category just based on the loft there. But either way, both are built for distance. Both both are built for forgiveness and high ball speeds and really like explosiveness. Yeah, I just want to touch on one last thing before we kind of get done here, the golf shaft. So the KBS mm -hmm. Max MT85, it's fairly light. So when I swung that club at 133, 134 miles an hour, it's going to cause that ball to kind of go up yeah. in the air and kind of spin a little bit. So it's important, depending on what your club speed is, the way that you deliver the golf club, what your swing tendencies are, that you actually do get fit for the correct golf shaft as mm -hmm. well. Don't just buy this set stock off the off the rack essentially. So you yeah. want to make sure you, you get fit. You've got plenty of other different golf shaft options that are no upcharge to fit into. If you're going with the Sim Max OS 2 or the Sim Max 2. So golf shaft for sure, very, very important. Yep. When I was swinging at 75 miles an hour, this is probably a good option. But if you get someone that comes in with a little bit more speed, probably not right. gonna be a very good option. Yeah. Yep. And you know, hey, 
a tour van fitting at Second Swing is free with the purchase of an iron set. So um, you're getting all that information. You're making sure these clubs are fit for your game and it's at no extra cost uh, once you buy a set of irons or a driver or any type of equipment you might need. So um, seems like a good place to end there. TaylorMade Sim 2 Max and Sim 2 Max OS irons new for 2021. We've got the feedback from Thomas swinging at about 75 miles an hour. Um, pretty good feedback. Uh, explosive, forgiving, high launch. If you're looking for that, um, it might be a good set for you. So stop in the Second Swing store or contact our team online uh, and we'll make sure to get you fit into one of these irons. Make sure they're fit for your game and your swing and you're ultimately shooting lower scores on the golf course. So Thomas, thanks for your swings today and, and giving us the insight. Yeah, not a problem.